At just eight years old, Ravi Adelikan has battled the odds to help others, all whilst recovering from a brainstem tumour, which still causes him ongoing health challenges. But Ravi is on a mission to raise funds and awareness for others going through the same situation. And it is his selfless work which earned him the Pride of Britain Child <coughs> of Courage Amazing. Award. Let's have a look at the moment he received the trophy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, it's Ravi again from... RaviG.com. <laughs> I'm so excited about winning this award and I want to thank everyone in my... Every, and I want to thank everyone who has helped me with all my wild charity ideas so far. Especially my amazing family, my community in Brighton, and the brain tumour community. So this is for all of you. Wow, Ravi, great to see you this morning alongside hey. Maya and Benga, your dad. Aww. Well, huge congratulations. It's, it's remarkable. Tell us about some of the wild things you have done to raise money and awareness. Well, so, I mean, in January, we did a Dream Week, which we la launched at the Houses of Parliament. Wow, and what's a Dream Week? Uh, it was like a, I think it was a, I'm not sure, but I think it was a week <laughs> where it's like... So it was a week, a week where we encouraged people to give their time mm. as well as their money so oh. you could have given an hour of your time to someone in your community oh. who you thought you could help achieve their dream. Really? So we made resources for people to use in schools, for yeah. students to use in schools, and also people could download things from Ravi's website, ravistream.com, and kind of do colouring and things they could do kind of at home in their communities. Yeah. Fantastic stuff. Amazing. I've got to say, Ravi, standing up there last night, the speech you made, I thought this young man is not only very brave and a great fundraiser, but I thought he makes a really good speech in front of a big <laughs> audience. Was well, it hard to do? And do you think you might like a career in the future where you make speeches for a living? Maybe you should be in the Houses of Commons yeah. making speeches in Parliament. I, I, I don't know. I mean, it, until I watch it, I don't, I don't really know if my speech was good or not. It was that honestly was, yeah. really good. Thanks. Really good. Take it from Ed, I know. who has actually been in government and made speeches I in have. the Houses of Parliament. I have. What are you going to do? What's your career plan? I don't really know. I mean, I, I want sports, maybe football or okay. tennis or cricket. Well, this oh. is an interesting thing because I think you live in Brighton, don't yeah, you? Indeed. Yeah. yeah. But who is your football team? Uh, you, we support Newcastle. Newcastle. Wow. <laughs> and then you got to meet. Who did you meet? Uh, we met Trippier and Bruno. Did yep. you? Did you actually meet them on the pitch? Yeah. On the side of the pitch during a proper game? So they came to play in Brighton and that's how Ravi found out that he'd won his award. They <laughs> gave it to him on the side of the pitch. Did you take your boots in case they needed uh, a player, in case they were short? <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it, yeah. yeah. Benga, just tell us about um, what Ravi's been through. You know, he's, he's one child of courage and he's a... He's a brave chap, isn't he? He is. I mean, you know, it says on his T-shirt, I survived brain surgery. Um, two years ago, almost to the day, he was in 10 hours of surgery um, on his brain stem to remove a tumour that was threatening his life. Um, and since then, even though the tumour is stable, though they didn't remove all of it, he yeah. still has a lot of health challenges. Doing well. Yeah. Maya? Are you proud of your big brother? I'm really proud of him. Are you? Why are you proud of him? What's special about your brother? Well, well, it's also because he's actually improving a lot. He's improving a lot? Yeah. yeah. That's As a he's... brother? Yeah. <laughs> he's getting to be a better See, brother. See, it's funny. When, you're, when you guys are fighting over who gets to choose what shows we watch, <laughs> you don't really feel like he's improving then. <laughs> <laughs> what would you want to watch, Maya? Well, I would want to watch Operation Out and both of us like it. Well, yeah. Uh, I would either want to watch Big Nate or some sports show. Yes. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's what Is you'd that a bit annoying, watch. Maya? Is he a bit annoying sometimes? Yeah. yeah. Well, sometimes. That's sometimes. what brothers are supposed yeah. to be. Of course they are. Ravi, do you, do you remember much about that experience of, of going through the surgery? Uh, I, I, I mean, I sort of do. I mean, I don't, I don't think I remember much, but I, I mean, I, 
at a points I do remember, but at yeah. points I don't. And what would you say to someone in the same position who's facing an operation like that? Uh, I would say um, you you can ju just try and get through it. It's like yeah, it it you you. It's like if you get through it, you can do incredible things. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. you're proving that. I mean, you are a child of courage. Can you imagine it? Trying a Britain winner. Do you want to lift up your trophy and show everybody? There he is. <laughs> and has, that, has it got your name on it? Henry, well, there we're we the wrong go. Side. There we no, go. You need to do it like it's the FA Cup. <laughs> get it up in the air. What? Yay! Yay! That's it. And Victory. how are Newcastle doing in your in your eyes this season? Uh, I mean, we we started off not that well. We're, we're doing good. We're doing yeah. okay. Yeah, we yeah. beat PSG in the middle of the week. That was a very <laughs> big know. big thing for us. Yeah, Newcastle back in the Champions League. I feel like the little talk you gave to Kieran Trippier inspired him. What did you say to Kieran? <laughs> uh, I, I, I just suggested they might eat some sweets before the game. Eat some sweets time. before the game. Oh my, oh, nobody has ever thought of that before. 1980s, Amazing. before management. <laughs> Love that. Well, that's great advice. Oh, look, oh. Maya, how would you describe Ravi this morning? Kind and nice. Kind and nice. Yeah. Is he the oh. best brother? Yes, he's, everything that we've done, honestly, has been driven by him. It was his idea to do the charity single and set up his website where people can kind of donate to the fundraiser. And we did a charity football match, of course. And his next thing is a fashion show for other kids who have brain tumors, which we're doing next month. So these are kind of all, that's what he was alluding to with his crazy charity ideas, I love it. you know. It all comes from him, so I'm very proud of him. Congratulations, Ravi. Thanks. And thank you for coming in to support him, Maya. He's a very special big brother, isn't he? Yeah. Yes, and Benga, thank you. Thank, thank you. you. What Thanks a family. For having us. Amazing. Good love to you. You can watch the full ceremony of the Proud of Britain Awards on Thursday, the 12th of October on ITV1, ITVX. I promise you, it is so worth it. Thank you so much. <laughs>